Hello and welcome to my channel, Boo Snakes and More. Today we're going to be talking about the penguin, and for more videos like this, also watch my other half channel, a, a Snakes and Stuff, my youngest son's channel, Henny's Toys and Games, or my oldest son's channel, Little Chris 10. Now let's dive into the video. The penguin has been defiantly resilient to dabble lean too deep in the Batman canon, a spinoff of the more gritty and grounded The Batman. The HBO show has zeroed in on its <coughs> Tolanier Batman antagonist and the much more street-level mafia war kicked off by the events of the film. And you know, Penguin's own assassination of the wood, the successor of the Falcone family's criminal empire. Episode 4 changes that a flashback to Sophia's time in Auckland Asylum gives us a glimpse at the true background of the hangman and brings in another Batman villain to boot. In the Penguin, Magpie goes out of her way to introduce herself as Magpie, not Margaret. And if you have any notion of what kind of word Gotham is in, your ears might perk up. Magpie is a lower level Batman villain who first showed up in the Manor Steel number three. She really hasn't been predominantly featured in much of the comics or in the on screen DC universe, but we do have some consistency for her character across the intentions we've seen. She was born Margaret Pie. And has converted shiny objects her whole coveted shiny objects her whole life. When she got older, she took a job at the Gotham City Museum for antiquities in order to be closer to such valuables. Eventually, the proximity was too much. Her mind snapped. She became Magpie, and she began stealing the museum goods, only to eventually be caught and put in Arkham Asylum. Like many Gotham baddies, she doesn't have any powers to speak of. She's a skilled gymnast and uses some light weaponry like explosive cysts, toxins, and razor blades. Magpie does go a step further and create deadly booby trap duplicates of the museum items she steals. But despite appearing in the Batman comics since 1986, she's only appeared on screen in episodes of Gotham and Batwoman. Plus a background appearance in the Lego Batman movie. Is the Penguin's Magpie different from the comics? This is a show about Oswald Cop, Cobb, not DC, Proper's Oswald Cobblepot. That's important when understanding what the lore of Magpie is here, for starters. There are no comics that show Sophia Falcone and Magpie and Arkham together. I had a lot of fandom because of this universe's isolation and also because the character Magpie has not been represented a lot throughout the years in the DC comics. Maria Bacha, who plays Magpie, tells Polygon, and so I drew from the erotic insanity and weird joy and rage moments that happen in Arkham. And then I just built my own version. And so Magpie's foray into the Batman epic crime saga is limited. She has wound up in Arkham and seemingly dies when Sophia snaps and slams her head into the table. But Bertha says she developed the 3D version of Magpie beyond the scope of the episode drawing from canon and tailoring it to glimpses of the character from the script. I really loved her obsession with shiny things to look at self Sophia Falcone coming in as a shiny thing as a shiny object Bertha says noting that Sophia arrives still looking very polished amid a bunch of buzz about her <coughs> Revealing her alleged track record as a serial killer, I love that we met, meet through 
that little rivet hoe in the beginning because I got to really play with my eye and my mouth and my fingers to try and get to this shiny thing, to try and possess her, to make her my friend. Bertha's goal in working with episode director Helen Shaver was always to install the same level of pathos to Magpie that the Penguin works to provide all its Gotham offenders. Magpie, even in this brief appearance, is just a wounded bird. To Bertha, someone who's flirting between her inner child and her traumatized adult self, and even if she's exiting the narrative, just as quickly as she enters, she stands in the narrative like an omen. After all, Sophia has only been there for a little bit, and she's already killed someone, Magpie having been in there for a lot longer. Well, as we see from the end of the episode, Occam does a real number on you. Thank you for watching this video, and peace out till the next one.